Scorpio, welcome to your Sunday shuffle. Do you like my Halloween decorations? As you can see, I spared no expense. Of course, I had to buy it. I thought of us naturally, but uh, how I found it was interesting. I was just, I was out doing some light shopping and I went to those places that has basic canvas print art. And this one, literally, this one right here, fell in front of my feet as I was walking. Now, obviously, it was poorly positioned and or placed. But the fact that it fell directly in front of my feet, what am I supposed to do? It's mine. I have to buy it. I have to take it. It's like, this is yours, Christina, take it. Okay, fine. I'm not going to argue. What's going on, please? So, today, for the Sunday Shuffle, I said, you know what, let's lightly canvas the idea of new. A lot of people pipe up about that. I want to see new. I want to see new. I will see new in as much a collective is ready to show me new. Most folks show me where they are kind of still stuck processing something. So I said, you know, all right, let's lightly canvas new and see how into it the collectives really are. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to start here with the Ace of Pentacles, see if there's any brand new opportunities for you in terms of realistic investment. And then we'll work our way through the map and then take a look at the chariot. Perhaps which one you should pursue, to what degree, and what does it even look like? Show me that Ace of Pentacles, please, for Scorpio. Show me that Ace of Pentacles, please, for Scorpio. The Three of Cups, the Four of Cups, King of Swords. Not at this time and something to do with social connectivity, connecting and or reconnecting. And some of you have been giving serious thought about this as the King of Swords. That's that's the hard hat energy. That guy, you know, King, Queen of Swords, they don't play play. They're all about that facts and information. And it has been on your mind to possibly invest in social activity. I'm not going to assume a specific connection or reconnection. I'm going to go ahead and default to general sense of social activity and you're kind of saying no I'm not in that frame of mind and also my heart's not in that place right now some of you are feeling a little down right now and you're not up for any sort of social activity it's kind of like it's weighing on me Christina and I don't want that negativity to kind of spill into my social life I'm just I'm just not right there right now you know so we're not investing too much excuse me we're not investing too much in the old social circles right now all right you know it's there you know it's available to you as an option but you're like mm you're not emotionally there let's put it that way all right ace of swords let's see that ace of swords strong thoughts ideas things that you were tinkering with at the old mental level show me that ace of swords please show me that ace of swords show me that ace of swords and again this isn't for all of you we're just going to do a light canvas of the new some of you are going to experience the idea of new in different ways, but this is what I'm seeing today. The Tower, Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Cool. Some of you had some really strong insight with the Tower, Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Really strong insight about your own particular state of independence. Something that will, it seems like, financially secure you further into the future. This you are legitimately excited about. So Ace of Swords, something's been introduced to you, and it's like, ooh, here's an idea, here's a thought. How far can I pursue this? And you're like, you know what, Scorpio? I think we can take this pretty darn far. So there's something here that suggests enlightenment. Something that just occurred to you that might help you or thrust you into further state of financial independence with that Nine of Pentacles. And you're really excited. You're talking to people. Eight of Wands. What about this? What about that? I have this idea. What do you think about this, that, and the other? You have the experience to back it up. It seems to be a good, well, pursual effort for you. At least is how you're thinking about it and then you're talking about it to others so it's looking like you're trying to generate more activity around this idea expand the idea and put yourself into it it looks pretty good i'm going to be inclined to agree i just like how it hits you with the tower oh that idea oh my god that could make me awesome so whatever that is i don't know but it's looking to me like again it lines up with the idea of more financial independence okay now let's take a look at that ace of cups I like that. That's a sharp idea, too. Woo! That one's got some heat on it. You know? I like it. Let's see that Ace of Cups. Let's see that Ace of Cups. Let's see that Ace of Cups. There has been some interesting commentary about my cleavage. <laughs> 
that it's higher and bigger than it typically is. People, what's up with that? And I'll tell you what's up with that. You know that new bra energy? Mm-hmm. You get that new bra and it's amazing. It's brand new bra technology, whatever. And so they ride high and tight for a while until after the first couple of washings. And then you're like, mm. well, it was nice when it lasted. So right now I'm in that phase. <laughs> <laughs> where you know they're riding high and tight so that's great get you a new bra honey does wonders mm -hmm. okay the ace of cups you got something knocking around in here that suggests christina there's a lover's connection in my heart i'm aware of this seven of cups i don't quite know what to make of it are they an option are they not but more to the point you're saying i don't know what to do with it so we do not have any new love energy knocking around in the old heart space there Okay, this is pre-existing energy, strong soul contract, lover's bond, lover's connection, not the easiest to understand or participate in. And you're showing me my heart's not available for new. There's still someone in there. And it's not clearly defined either, unfortunately. Two of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups, that sucks. That's really non-definitive energy. But it's also strong. Okay, so someone is still holding a certain mantle piece in your heart and, you know... Um, we still have love for this person, but how it plays out in reality says it confuses you a great deal. Uh, so you're not in the place of new love. There's already someone taking residence there. Okay. So I'm talking about people ask me for new all the time. And then I was like, you know what? Back it up. Let's talk about it. You know? It's one of the reasons why I had this idea. Let's just canvas this idea of new that everybody keeps going on and on about. Some of us and some people and other folks are processing things. Stuff that's old, stuff that's new, stuff that's somewhere in between. That's the idea, guys. You know? Real tarot is real life. A lot of people want that new so they can be inspired to change. No, baby. If you don't have the inspiration to change in you already, there's no amount of new in the world the universe can throw at you to take it. If you're not ready to accept new, you won't take it. That's it. So I'm not talking about the lover's journey today and what they're doing, what they're about. I'm just showing you that you don't have space. The Scorpio I'm looking at, there's no space in your heart for new. Something's knocking around in there already that's complicated enough as it is. And it doesn't seem to have enough real world status, but it has a very strong emotional and spiritual connectivity in it. You still love them. But it's like, I don't know how to see them or perceive them or love them in the real world. I don't even know what their feelings are towards me. You know? So no, there's no room for new there. It's not an insult, it's not a judgment, don't take it as one. It's just to show people where they're at. Ace of Wands. By far your strongest concept of new here today is that Ace of Swords. An idea that you seem to be very excited about. And could be prosperous. Let's see that Ace of Wands, please. Let's see that Ace of Wands. Let's see that Ace of Wands. New passion, new form of insight, inspiration. Anything in there in that Ace of Wands, please. King of Pentacles, the Magician. That's not you, somebody else. Uh, somebody, see how fast that is. <laughs> I just, I know that that mind bog. I, I, I get the feedback. I see the feedback. I get the emails too, guys. It's not just comments. They were like, how can you just throw and know what's what? Because I've been doing this a long time. <laughs> That's why. Okay. Please believe me when I tell you I've been doing this a long time. Uh, no, that's someone else who is Ace of Wands is trying to apply itself to you. Uh, it is actually kind of lovely. Um, somebody is manifesting your energy, rather their emotional expression towards you. When that's coming in, I don't know, but it seems to be relatively soon. The only background piece I have on this particular person is that they are showing me King of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Knight of Cups. And so this king, whomever this is, is deploying their particular knight to speak to you, not from a pentacle point of view, but from an emotional point of view. And they are summoning forward this energy uh when it comes through i don't know because you're not the one who's generating it it kind of depends on when they deploy that but it does look lovely and it does look soft uh and we have to remember the knight of cups just isn't the romantic guy he is but also the vulnerability okay so there's something here with a level of sincerity that is being expressed to you under that ace of wands it is being summoned forward by this person to deploy it to you is when they deploy it to you uh, but yeah, that's coming in relatively soon. That is outside of you. Uh, this, however, is all you. That Ace of Swords, whatever this idea is, that hits you kind of hard one day. Oh, like that. This looks promising. It does look promising. It's something to do with increasing your sense of status and or financial independence. And that's never a bad thing, honey. 
you got the you got the skills you're talking about it that looks like pursual activity to me let's see the chariot here for you and if you move forward on any of these concepts this one when it comes in I don't know but it's under the ace of wands could be soon I don't know I don't know that king of pentacles is gonna kind of move at his own particular speed but yeah and again the reason I don't think it's used because you kind of already told me you know and I can kind of see how your ace of cups is playing off of your ace of pentacles here the reason why you're not up for social activity at the emotional level is because like I said someone's still knocking around in your heart it's a, like I said it's a strong lovers connection and you still have mixed feelings about it um, I don't know if it's the same person or if this is a brand new energy introducing itself, I could not say. But it kind of makes sense. It stands to reason, right, why you have not taken your particular Ace of Pentacles and invested in any social activities, not the strong, emotional, romantic kind. Okay. I get it. It's because you're a little down in the dumps in that department. But you know this, so that means you're self-aware. So don't do anything that you're not prepared for. Like I said, you're still... The Scorpio I'm looking at, honey, I hate to... You know, you're still very much in love with this, whatever this is. Or it, it still puts a hollow in your heart that says I'm not over them. And that's fine. That's okay. So I don't know who this is that's introducing itself to you or reintroducing itself. But it is... It's lovely. It's straightforward. This, by far, like I said, seems to be your strongest ace. And this other stuff, this is processing, this is dealing with it, I understand your reasoning, I get it. You see why I wanted to canvas all the aces? They might relate, sometimes they don't, but I can definitely see sometimes how one affects the other. Okay? Let's see that chariot. Uh, forward, movement, conclusions, the courses that we have set upon. Some of that chariot please, some of that chariot please, forward. Scorpio, some of that chariot please. King of Pentacles, there they are again. Knight of Swords, Judgment. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is movement again coming towards you. This King of Pentacles person's come up twice. Uh, you've already kind of ID'd your energy to me, and it just, this one has such a, a strong personality attached to it. Could be Earth sign here. Um, it doesn't have to be, it, it's just consistency, you know. So take note of consistency in tarot. So chariot, there's that movement again. King of Pentacles is coming through. There's another knight. Another knight. Consistency, guys. And judgment. It's under this, I told you. I don't just make this shit up, guys. It's under their judgment call. It's their decision. So it's their manifestation coming towards you. I don't know how aware of it you are. You seem to be a little bit preoccupied, but not overly preoccupied with this new idea that seems to fascinate you. Cool. Run with that, 100%. This other energy is completely straightforward to me. It's completely straightforward to me. One is absolutely related to the other. The reason you're not up for social activity is because that space isn't in your heart. You're aware of it, King of Swords. So stick with what you know. If that's true for you, then that's what's true for you right now. You don't have to apologize to anybody about it. But uh, somebody here's got something they want to say to you, and it is under their judgment and their design. I don't know the timing. I could not say. I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. So... Let's see if we can get anything further on that particular situation. Uh, 43, the maze. Yeah, I can kind of see that, the confusion here with the feelings and that strong connection and what does it mean and where is it leading to or if it's leading to anything at all or does it mean anything, you know. Uh, marriage, now that's interesting. What's that about? Pathway, oh, okay. It's confusing. The pathway, not just to marriage, but just to relationships, guys. you got to take those with some flexibility. The oracle cards, they're like brief bridges in between the major points, and they either connect or they don't. So, yeah, walking that particular pathway of relationships, why is it so damn confusing? What does this even mean? Does it even have that kind of status at all? All that stuff, you know. It's very confusing. It's a very confusing maze sometimes. Some of you are indeed the main female. Okay. Soft, lovely, romantic, the one who bears the rose. Uh, what else, please? Going on a journey. Some of you might be going on a journey relatively soon. Okay. False person. Hold on, please. Messages. Someone's going to say that they've been away because of family issues or they've been very, very busy. Um, 
I don't know how true it is. It seems like a delayed tactic. An excuse for absence. I don't know about that. I don't know who it's attached to. As far as I can tell, this King of Pentacles figure has presented sincere energy in terms of this is my decision to come forward to you. Uh, so I'm not necessarily tying it to that. But I am seeing someone offer an excuse to you relatively soon. This can be completely unrelated. Um, and I don't know why it's coming up as important for some of you, so do pay attention. Some of you will be receiving a message from somebody soon, likely a family member, possibly, that's going to immediately present an excuse. Uh, this is why I've been away. Job stuff, work stuff. I don't know why they feel the need to protect themselves with that lie. It has something to... And I, the reason I say it's a family member is because the family tree popped out immediately after this energy presented itself. I see... Whoever this is, is on the receiving end of somebody's kind of story about a journey and messages. And I tried to get a hold of you, and this is not true. Uh, this is why I've been away, and there might be some truth in that. But I don't know why they feel the need to cover themselves with falseness. I have no idea. But they are presenting it to you, and it is coming from what looks like the source being a family member. Um, again, it does not feel related to this outside energy. This is something that's coming through to you, I think, over the holidays sometime. Or why somebody can't meet you over the holidays. Something like that. Something to do with family. And it's kind of an excuse. Um, perhaps don't take it personally. Just accept it for what it is. If you catch someone out in a lie because they're uncomfortable for some reason, I don't know. Uh, just roll with it. Don't take it lightly. But don't believe it either. That kind of thing. That's some interesting advice. <laughs> Because you're over here, it's like, why are relationships so damn confusing, Christina? Why? <laughs> and then you got somebody popping up who's under the family tree designation, who they're going to excuse themselves for some thin, loose excuse or reason over the next several months, or they're going to try to excuse their absence for this yeah, around the same thing for some time. No idea. I have no idea can't make the journey or some nonsense like that yeah there it is there's that incoming message again it's being tied back to whomever that that family member i believe is teeth control somebody is letting control of that sense of control that's interesting pulling teeth so in the upright it's like pulling teeth somebody's too much feeling the need to be in control of themselves or the situation and they can't change so that's in reverse um somebody's opening up to try to be more flexible to change and trying to show less control and just to allow themselves to go with the flow i am saying that connected more to this king of pentacles figure okay turtle in reverse that's what i just said i just i just feel like those two are related uh, somebody's trying to relinquish that sense of control which again control is a form of fallacy all we can really do is speak to ourselves and that's it so somebody's trying to show more flexibility and to not be so slow um they're trying to open up more toward change, to go more towards the flow. Okay, interesting. All right, and then there's the shark. That's you, honey. That's you, 100% you. <laughs> Some of you are thinking about your long term in terms of uh, how your financial means for security and state of independence, and that's where this very sharp idea I'm seeing for you is coming from with that ace of swords. Pretty straightforward. Okay. All right, uh, I was trying to do time checks, weren't I? And then I got distracted by that family thing. Um, let's let's talk about that a little bit more. Do we have any more in terms of timing for this night to arrive? I honestly can't tell, guys. Timing constructs. When might this be, please? Why did I know I was going to see that 44? So that could be in reference to next April for sure comes in the form of a letter 14th obviously 44 is not a date but sometime around April could be Sagittarius season as well I don't quite know guys try to do a time check on that and that's what you get but yeah I don't know there'll be a message it's hard to believe it's as far out as the spring, but it could be. I don't know. Those two nights suggest fluid movement. They gotta make up their mind, though. They did say that. Judgments attached to this person. They get to decide when they move forward. So, whoever it is, it looks like you're not waiting on them. You don't seem to know to expect them. Until now. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> it's it's weird because they're telling me they're trying to get out of that slowness and that they're going to stop trying to be such a control or change issue person. And But the timing, I can't see it. Could be as soon as, you know, over the next several months as the knights and the ace of wands suggest or it could be as far out as the spring perhaps it's a little bit of both perhaps there's some upfront energy coming forward and then something stronger coming through in the spring i have no idea i hope this helped you put in the comments as you see fit take care be well